Hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to shade a dress, especially just make one in general. So I hope you guys enjoy this and send, put a like down there, add that subscribe, and uh, share the video with your fellow designer friends. So anyways, let's get started. Up here is my custom template. You could always make your own, but that's like in one of my other videos. So anyways. I think I'm just going to do a simple dress, you know, nothing too, too much, you know, I'm just going to outline it, I'm going to start with another layer, I'm going to name this lines, curves, because your girl likes to add lines to it because it makes for, uh, these can be made transparent later on. There's so many different ways you could just make these. You know, you could even put it down there. You know, before you confirm what you want to do, always make sure you know what you want to do. I think I'm going to make smaller lines. Now, I usually don't do this, but this will make your life a little bit easier. A little bit more even. There we go. Now we're gonna deselect. And we're just gonna add the back. There we go. That's our lines. For the top, that is. You can do whatever you want with the. You don't have to add straps. Personally, I do. You know, I don't do that just yet. I'm just going to actually go through layer and to layer. So we're going to pick a color. I'm actually going to do yellow for once. If this if this uh whole thing does that, then you could just do this, no problem. You could cut some of this out later on, like now, and depending on how long you want your dress, crop, crop it out a little bit, make it semi-long, and then you're gonna cut, use the cut button, and so far so good. Now we're gonna use layer gonna name this real quick color layer 4 you're gonna kind of add the curves down here you don't doesn't matter what color you use to outline them but just make sure they're kind of even You don't even have to do the way I do. A lot of people just draw them on. I, since I have a shaky hand, you you will understand what I mean. So that's why I kind of have to use the one stuff. You don't have to do it, but I do. You'd simply do this and this. Doesn't really matter, just as long as you know you could erase the excess color off it. Even then, if you have to, you could always redo them. Kind of like what I am now. Again, the cut button. If you liked what you put there, paste button. Cut button. So I'm going to redo these. As I am. So. Alrighty. Now to the real stuff. So 
Don't mind the blur. That's gonna be that's gonna be fixed up later on. I'll show you how to later. Just make sure it's kind of even. There, see what I did there? Now you just keep adding on there. And then you could just select the entire line you just made and just put it all over the bottom. Some people just draw it straight up, others, you know, like myself, I need the line system. Like I said, I have shaky hands, and you will see what I mean, kind of like now. And don't worry about this here. It's going to be fine. Make sure it's kind of even. Can I put this down a little bit more? Okay, we're good. And then again. You could just go at the whole thing. I'm going to add the straps later if you're asking. But you don't have to. A lot of people actually don't add straps to their dresses. I personally like to. It's just the style thing I have. Now you got the bottom done. Now go back to the color. Now since this will be protected, you know, you'll be fine. Just follow my lead. Or you could use the magic wand. But that's just going to make it a little bit odd. You could erase the excess line like this too. Part of being a good designer is making mistakes. I'm not saying I'm the best designer, but you know I know some things. All right. And then a tip, my dear friend Breezy, shout out to Breezy Bree for she's an amazing designer. Is to I add a layer layer. Is to find a skin tone. I'm gonna go away. You know, it doesn't really matter what you used, as long as you could tell if there's if there's mistakes there or not. Personally, this was a hidden feature I didn't know of until you know I just wanted to find a certain color. One fact, this would be perfect. There. See? You could just tell if it's got any errors to it. So far, so good. Now we're gonna kind of make this layer disappear for a minute. We're gonna make sure we got it. Make sure you know, because you could get rid of these, but it's not going to make it look shaded. Mm -hmm. Depends on how you erase your coloring. And I'm going to blur this a little bit. You guys got to be careful. There you go. That's a perfect blur. And then you probably want to do overlay. Nah, you don't. Or you could actually use glow. You could use 
depending on what color you use, you know, it doesn't really matter. Overlay. There's a lot of effects you could use. And you could make it look a little bit less, too. Now for the fun part. You're going to add the shading, the shade shading. And we're going to use two different kinds of colors. And you, there's so many ways you could do this. But personally, you know, I like to kind of do this. Find a darker color than the color you're using. And just go at it. And you could stretch your shading out a little bit too if you need to. You could add a belt here, you know. I'm just going to teach you how to make it look like a dress and not some jumpsuit. That's a lot of mistakes I made. That's part of a lot of, that's part of the many mistakes I made. Well, you know, when I was first designing things. But it was fun in the long run. You could take these and just copy them. You know, just to save yourself some time. You could do the same thing down there too. If you need to move your layers around, you can. It's like what I this is what I mean by stretch out the shading a bit. You could always add an extra layer of shading if you need to. But this part really doesn't really matter, but you know, you could just do what you do. Now you could even shrink in it a bit. You use different sizes of shading. Now I'm going to do this. You know, it doesn't really matter if you stretch it or not. Firstly, what I like to do is fun. You know, making dresses, dang it, making dresses, it's pretty fun, to be honest. A lot of people like making pants, a lot of people like making shirts, a lot of people make like making many other things. But I like to make dresses, because they're fun. Artistically, they're fun to shade. Now, you could do this, too. Select paste, but except, except you know, you could make them a little bit lighter. Either way, it will work. You know, kind of save you the trouble, trouble of uh, finding another color or just going through the color wheel in general. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as, you know, you, you could see the lines. I'm going to use color dodge. Alright, we're good there. Keep copying. Do what you just did before. Sometimes I have a bad habit of cutting things. It's okay. It happens. You could even, uh, copy the entire thing again if you want to. Saves you time. Either way. Saves the time you probably don't have. 
it will automatically cut off depending on it. Oops, it is. I didn't mean to do that. I don't really like to go overboard either. Just simple shading will do wonders. Don't mind the excess, you know, it won't show up on your dress in the long run. Because later we might be making a belt or something like that. But I like the shade first, just to get a feel of the dress. And I don't really plan out my designs. I might sometimes. Like one day, and you know, I had the vision of, you know, a Sunday dress or perhaps a sundress. I call them Sunday dresses. Because, you know, you, I don't go to personally, you know, it's. You know, I don't really go to church anymore. I probably should. I don't know. A lot of people like to, and it makes them happy. But I'm not going to bring religious debates here. But I made a sundress. Normally, a lot of people like to wear sundresses to church. And I like, or Easter hunting, or, you know... They like to wear sundresses going out on Sunday. That's why I call them sunny dresses. No, they're kind of cute. I'm going to make this stretch out a little bit. It's only what you got to do sometimes. Let's make sure they fit in. All right, now you could shade. Well, you could blur a little bit. There's so many ways you could just do it. doesn't really matter what you do, just make sure in the end you don't forget to blur. If you need to darken things up a bit, just use darken. Simple. Simple really. What I mean by dark and I mean this here. Or you could just do normal and just blur like that. You could also make it glow again. Normal. I think I'm just going to use normal for the entirety of the video. Normal. Actually, I like to use glow. If that makes any sense to you. You could do extra blur if you want. Okay. With that being done, you gotta check for errors. Go back to your bottom layer. Okay, okay. It's not too bad. A little bit of, a little bit lines are not bad. What you could do now is you could just go through it and erase whatever you want. Look 
kind of gives it a little bit of a shadow to it. Either way will work. you could do what you do you know you don't have to copy my style I'm gonna do overlay with the this here too you could just simply do that too or you can make it glow overlaying will just Help it find a similar color to it. We're not doing anything with it at all. Now, what you could do is you could add more shading to it if you want to. You could add a little bit of shininess, silkiness by adding some white to it. Make sure I add it to the right. Don't worry about the layer numbers. Don't make don't let them make you feel nervous about this. You know, just make a few lines. Just copy them throughout. And this what is where it starts looking silkier. Because a lot of my clothes are silky because of this technique. I love silk. You know, it's a rich fabric. It's really nice. Oops, I did that again. Don't worry, you know, you could just speed up the process if you need to, but I slow it down because I know a lot of people appreciate it, like myself, personally, when I'm watching a detailing tutorial, you know, like, you know, I'm not really good with pockets, but I try my best. Because, you know, I watch a couple tutorials here and there, and I take a couple tips from other designer friends. Actually, you could do this too. So that way it could kind of be lined up already. Let's see what I did there. You could darken these too if you want to. If you know what I mean, hold up. Forgot to be select. Glow. You could do this. You want less of the dark in this. But I want to use a light color, so. Now we could just blur it again. Now we could, uh, and another layer. And you could do whatever you want with the belt. You know, but I personally like to keep it simple. I might find another yellow. I'll just do overlay.
good at a little bit of a bow. You could draw that on there or, you know, copy and paste the transparent one, but you have to add another layer so you don't screw it up. I like to draw mine on sometimes. You could just draw it all on there to make it more personalized. And no worries, you could just make it blend in. You could add, you could paint on, actually no, I'm going to paint it on and draw it on. Because I got the setting on there, you know, it's going to be perfect. Don't mind my Snapchat going off. Just draw that on there. And it's okay if you're not that good of a drawer, you know, you could just pixel art it. And you could add a little bit of shading on there too. No problem with that. you know, blend it in. Just kind of add some blur to it. It's barely any though, because it's just gonna If you need to color in, just use the color picker and do this. Just keep it. You know, just do this. You now you'll have a different style. If you don't like how dirty that is, yeah, just make sure you zoom out so you could check how you know the quality is of it. Just simply do this to kind of erase what you've done. Just go over it with the color that you used to draw it. Just a little bit more. You could also make it different, or you could yeah, multiply. You even put that in the middle. With this layer you have, you could now make it pop out of there. If you wanted to do a bow, that's what you could do. That's how I draw them on there. I know it's not the most perfect bow, but I personally, I personally do that. Or you could, uh, you know, add an, use another layer, use the line tool, and do this. 
you know, to simply do this. You don't really have to use so much of it. You could outline it too if you want. Now you could put it through the other layers if you tend to. Now we're gonna blur it. Just a wee bit. And we're gonna overlay it or something. We'll see. Now you got this. Now whatever you use to sh just shade in general. I just don't shade in between here because it will make it look more like pants. So what you want to do is find a darker color. Like I say, find a darker color. No, it doesn't really matter what color you use. Now this is a part that you really have to be careful for. But mainly, you know, you could choose a smaller pen. Doesn't really matter. If you want to do the subtitle, sub sorry. If you want to do a subtitle, can't speak right today. If you want to do a slight red shading, I'll teach you that in a moment. Because Roblox is just taking off of taking some clothes away because of the red shading. You can even add some wrinkles there too, but that I'm not so worried about just yet. Now, you know, this is a little bit, now this is risky biz. I usually do this, but with a thicker pen. Actually, hold up. Do this at your own risk. You want to make sure, you know, it's not too overpowering. If you must, do this. No, it doesn't really matter what kind of shading you do. That's why I do a darker color. This will really make it pop out a bit. But, you know, now these days it's kind of risky to do that. We'll just have to do that. Instead, add your shading back. And just do this. For the added female effect. I'm gonna sort this out real quick. You don't have to go so crazy with it either. Like I kind of am. Alright. So now you do this. Simply just do this. If you have to, you have to go through it again. No problems. No worries. I'm going to go through the shading again, just to make sure. Not to shade the bomb parts again, they're good. Make it subtle. Like I said, do not shade between here. 
because it will make them look like pants. Don't shade there either. Oh, let me think. Making sure I do this right because sometimes I mess up. Avoid doing Avoid doing so much shading too, because it will make it look a little bit dirtier. Now you can blur. Mm. Alright, now we basically have the basic dress done. Now, I like to add a little bit more of a wrinkle to make it a little bit more realistic. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I do with, is with the darker color and with the smaller pen, let me do this. Just lightly do this all around. And if you have to do your wrinkles again, you have to. Well, you don't have to. You're gonna like that. Be careful how much shading you put on there. You could also, if it's too dark, you could also do this. And then you do this. You put white there. Go ahead and put some white there. Kind of make it pop out a bit. You could also use smudge or blur, either way, it doesn't matter. I'll show you how to use the smudge tool and you have to download as an extension. Excuse me, extension? Extension. You have to download it as a plugin for paint, if you know what I mean. You gotta be careful when you look for it too. I might link it, I'm not sure. If you guys ask me, I will. But if you don't have smudge, you know, blur would ju do just fine. Just do a little bit here and there. You know? Sometimes this is a little bit more. And now, if you have smudge, if you plan on getting smudge, you need this here. I'm going to show you something. These are the little marks we've made. This is what happens if you put smudge there. Sometimes I have to do more. you want to use smudge you know you just be careful and make sure you have your wrinkles well blended because that will come in handy don't worry about perfection because you know that doesn't exist you could do that Just a little bit less. But now I just blur. And the blur. Eh. Still looks a little bit iffy. You might want to decrease it a bit. Okay. So, yeah, there's the dress. Gonna add a little bit of shading here to Im imitate some curves.
but add another layer so I don't screw up much of it. You don't have to put this everywhere either. You don't even have to do this. It's just the more optional part, but this is what I like to do. Just put a little bit here and there. I'm sure, you know. again and there you go now you flatten it if there's any error on there that's fine I'm gonna outline this too don't worry flatten now I'm just gonna outline this you will see what I mean With this, oh dang it! Did the very last thing I didn't. Did the very last thing I didn't. Did the very last thing I wanted to do. Screw up my layers. You had to add one more layer, or you could just do that while you know you had many layers. But kind of, this kind of helped me out a little bit. Once you're done doing this, you could just use overlay, you know, kind of helps it blend in with the rest of the dress. And if, you know, your dress comes out uneven, you could always do this. Move to it. We're gonna overlay it. Do this. Soften it up a bit. And then we're gonna do this. Personally, what I like to do is just make straps, because that's my style. I want to do something different. Just making sure I don't mess it up completely. Okay. Another personal style I have. You'll know it's my dress. When. Oh, let me show you something. You'll know it's likely in my dress when, you know, I kind of put something like this at the back. You make it a little bit. I might do something different at the back. It's okay if it's a little bit uneven. I like to redo my lines to make sure. I'm 
add a bow here, because why not? Hold up. I'm going to add another layer so I don't screw this up. I'm going to add, you know, kind of a different shade of yellow. Yeah. So what you want to do... want that shade of yellow. It's more of an orange to be honest. And you could just do this. You can move it if it's not even. Okay. Doesn't really matter how you make yours. I'm gonna lighten this too, to be honest. Hold up. Lighten it. Lighten. No, it just blended in with the background. We could also mess with the hues, no problem. I wanted to try something. And just make it lighter. Blend in a little bit more too. If you want to, you could add, you know, more of these around here. Or put them in the back too. Be really nice. Be a little bit more creative. You'll know it's my dress when. Well, I kind of do something like this. It's going to be one cute dress, too. Let me just make this a little tinier. And a little bit. You want to kind of blend it. Or make it glow either way but it's not going to blend in here. Let's keep it normal. There. The final product would be after we put some noise to it. And then finally some noise. Add some noise, people. Don't add too much noise because it'll look like glit a glitch happened. A little bit of noise, not a hell of a lot. And there we got it. If you want to add your shoes down here, but maybe. And I'll just add some shoes. Nah, I'll do that later. But anyways, this is how I make my dresses. Thank you for watching me make a dress. All you have to do now is save it. And then you're good to go. You could upload it to Roblox. Hopefully they don't dox you or block.
Thank you for watching and have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed my crazy tutorials. You could just speed through it if you need. But thank you and have a great day.